This is my business partner Ashley May, I'm David Evans, uh, we've worked together for I think 10 years, uh, previously with a, a product design consultancy, um, but as of three years ago we decided we want to design and manufacture our own products, which is what led us to Elixir. So our background in product design is all about innovation and really Node is an extension of that and we've created Elixir, which is arguably the world's most advanced loudspeaker. Um, it really started off as an experiment to see if we can make significant strides over existing loudspeakers and it soon became clear that additive, specifically uh, laser sintering, could deliver massive benefits over traditional loudspeakers, but crucially in a product that justified the cost uh, of it. It's probably best um, shown here in the head of our speaker, this is the pod that sits on top. This um, features our helical base loading, so it's a helix inside the head. That really allows it to deliver the depth and richness of base of a large cabinet but from something quite small and it clearly it couldn't be manufactured in, it in any other way. Okay so this is where our speaker cabinets start their life. This is a SLS machine which is almost like a large 3D printer in essence. So we will feed this machine with our 3D CAD file you can see on the screen here. This is a, a layer based machine so our speaker cabinets are built from uh, glass nylon particles um, and you can see a preview of the build process here. So it's building up layer by layer, and our cabinets are built facing upright. So the machine will use a laser to fuse um, a layer of glass nylon particles. So it dust across another layer. And as you can see, it gradually builds up uh, layer by layer. This is a section approximately at the level you can see on screen here. You can see that cut away. Um, so process allows complete design freedom. Once the cabinet is sintered, which takes about 45 hours, we then go into the back room where we depower it and we break away all the unsintered powder to leave the completed cabinet, which we can show you inside. So this, this is a completed loudspeaker cabinet. This is off the machine with all the powder removed. Um, it's quite a large part, particularly for 3D printed parts. So this part here is our, our baffle component. And again, this is uh, laser sintered from glass, uh, glass nylon. It gives us massive, massive freedom to design this component in the best possible way. So internally we have braces to counteract any resonance. We've got variable wall sections all the way around. And crucially, it's made as a single component. So the cavity inside here couldn't be demolded or, or made in any other way. There's some lovely hidden details in here as well. So for example, where the air radiates from our base drive and pompies, we have this split section which runs internally and it actually flows out helically so that it matches the um, orbital base output from our, from our main cabinet. So it allows lots of hidden details to be really maximised. The, the end user of the client never sees that, but um, it's really taking everything to the nth degree. Okay, this is our electrical crossover network, and um, this does it, splits the audio signal up and feeds it to the relevant driver. Many manufacturers use um, PCBs, circuit boards, uh, with components mounted on that, but actually we're using 3D printing to create a rigid cartridge which helps eliminate any vibrational interference on the components. So we created this array of pockets for, for the inductors and resistors, etc. And you can see them populated on this one here. The 3D printing also allows us to create 3D wire runs, essentially, so we can hardwire each component, again, for better sound. And these are uh, magazine loaded on the underside of our speaker, up inside the station. As well as the physical product design, a lot of it has come down to process design as well. Um, for example, the head of the speaker is designed to be tuned on a lathe and turned back so we achieve a nice smooth finish and delivers a finish that's world class and justifies the rigorous innovation that lies inside. So we're really lucky on site to have these large CNC machines uh, up to five axis and we do our aluminium machining here too. So this is our um, facial plate which is the front of the speaker and this is machined from a solid bit of uh, aerospace grade aluminium um, and we send these parts off when they're completed they go up to a company that polishes these to a high standard and then electroplates them uh, to the customer's desired finish. Um, but having these machines on site just gives us a level of control that we wouldn't usually have if we were to subcontract it to another supplier. So, but, yeah, complete. Okay, so, here we have the components that make up the base of our speaker. Um, the actual main section is extruded aluminium. But inside of that, we again we 3D print um, some components to really maximise every facet inside that aluminium. And it's produced using um, a HP fusion machine. 
uh, the main purpose of these is to control the resonance of the aluminium, but also to really control the wire runs inside here and control the proximity of the wires to the aluminium so the aluminium doesn't introduce any destructive interference in the signal. Similarly, with the base components, a lot of thought has got into how we control the wires, how we kill any resonance between this part and our aluminium extrusion. And it's got a lot of hidden details and undercuts that just simply couldn't be moulded or machined in any other way. Here you can see the parts from the workshop and the lab have come together in a single streamlined form. The streamlined profile really benefits the acoustics of the speaker. The head itself is finished in a beautiful piano black gloss and the fascia plates and feet are machined from aluminium and here they're, they're plated in 24 karat gold. The feet themselves are completely adjustable and to complement the fascia these parts can be also plated in rose gold and nickel. Similarly the cabinet can be painted in any colour the customer desires so really there's no limits to the combinations you can create. Um, yeah, Elixir launched uh, earlier last year. Um, it's been very well received in the industry. Uh, we're very proud to have already won uh, numerous awards actually in the sort of hi-fi press and yeah we're very excited about the future. Mm -hmm.